On problem 14, a professor had students keep track of their social interactions for a week. The number of social interactions for the week is shown in the following grouped frequency distribution. Identify the lower limit of the seventh class. I get a lot of emails about this problem. I think it's just a thing of maybe students are not quite sure what they're asking. So these are the classes right here. Class number one, the category, the class, same thing. Class number one, class number two, class number three, class number four, five, six, seven. Identify the lower limit of the seventh class. Class seven is 75 to 79. The lower limit is 75. The smallest number that would put somebody in that class, 75. Number 15, the professor had students keep track of their social interactions for a week. The number of social interactions over the week is shown in the following grouped frequency distribution. What is the class width? This one can be a little bit tricky. I'm going to write out, just pick any of the classes. I'll go ahead and pick the first class. I have 25 to 31. So it's tricky in the sense of, can I just subtract 31 minus 25? You know what? That's not going to get you the right answer. Well, I think I said it wrong. 31 minus 25. That will not get the right answer. 20, 31 minus 25 is 6. That is not the class width. I'm going to write it out. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Those are the numbers in that class. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The class width is 7. Sometimes I'll phrase it like this. How many days are there from Sunday to Sunday? days are there from Sunday to Sunday? Is it seven? Is it eight? Or is it six? It depends. Are you going to count both Sundays? If you count both Sundays, it's eight. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you count one Sunday, it's seven. If you don't count either of the Sundays, it's six. So that's, that's kind of how this problem's set up. If you do a simple subtraction, you are not counting both of the endpoints. So I just as well maybe write it out and then count them like that. Number 16, the professor had students keep track of their social interactions for a week. The number of social interactions over the week is shown in the following grouped frequency distribution. How many students had at least 40 social interactions for the week? At least 40. That means 40 or more. I'll circle that and I'm going to write 40 or more. Well, here's 40. Eight people said 40 to 44. Six people said 45 to 49. One person said 50 to 54. Two people said 55 to 59. Add those numbers up. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 people. 